guys welcome back to my channel I hope you're doing okay so in today's video I'm going to be doing the mum life raw tag I was tagged by the lovely Joanne from Joanna Guy I will leave her channel linked down below and I'll let you know who I'm going to tag at the end of the video so let's get straight into it so the first question I've got them written down is in one word describe your day as a mum today so it's Sunday today the kids it's Sunday evening the kids are still awake at the moment so I apologize if you can hear any noise in the background today as a mum, I just feel really happy, content. It was a lovely weekend, full of happiness, really chilled out. Couldn't have asked for a better day as a mum today. The kids have been happy. They've been playing outside in the garden because the weather's been really nice. So yeah, really good day. Um, question two, what is the most challenging part of connecting with other mums? For me, I have anxiety anyway. So it's the initial first kind of reaching out and I'm going to be honest and say some groups of mums can be really really clicky and they make you not probably purposely but it can make you feel kind of excluded um so it's that first initial jump step to kind of go up and say hello strike up the conversation that's what I find hard anyway um question three honestly share how much screen time your child has per day so my children are two and four I would say Isabel's obviously at school Monday to Friday so she will come home and kind of watch about an hour in the evening just to kind of wind down a bit but it's kind of on in the background she'll be playing she reads books um so I would say she doesn't watch that much Charlie he's not a massive tv fan I know that's going to surprise a lot of you he's a toddler but he's not a massive toddler fan he'd rather if he wants a bit of quiet time to kind of sit on his tablet and watch things on there instead he's just really got into Peppa Pig at the moment but I don't think they watch an, like an excessive amount of like TV or tablet time anyway um question four share one horrible poo moment when I read this question there was like one incident that came back straight away to me it was with Isabel when she was like really like probably only a couple of months old she had the worst poo explosion. Isabel, if you watch this, when you're 18, I'm sorry. She had the worst poo explosion. We were out, we were at Phil's old work. It was everywhere. And you know that it goes up their back, it goes up their front, it comes out the bottom. This was like up to her neck. That's how bad it was. It was horrible. Um, question five, how do you deal with public meltdowns? Stay calm. I have been that person that has got completely stressed out by it, which makes the situation worse. You just have to let them ride it out. I find distraction is a good technique. So make sure you have snacks on you. Make sure you have something for them to kind of hold, be playing with. Like Charlie, I'll always take out a little toy, a book. He always has snacks. Distraction is a great way. But if people want to stand there and look at the meltdown that your child is having, let them get on with it. I'm sure they've been through it themselves before. You just have to stay calm and let your child just ride it out. Um... Question six, what is your go-to dinner that you cook every week? It tends to be pasta and sauce, it's quick, it's easy, or spaghetti on toast, but I'll always make sure that I put some kind of vegetable or fruit on the side. So we have tortellini and like the pasta filled with like cheese and ham with tomato sauce. I'll make sure I put some cucumber on the side, some carrots, that type of thing, so it's still healthy-ish. Um, question seven, did you struggle today and if so, why? Monday to Friday I am on my own a lot more so I would say that I do struggle I'm not ashamed to say that I do struggle occasionally we all do as mums on the weekend I do feel like I can relax a lot more because my husband is home so over the weekend no I haven't I haven't struggled that much but it's back to school tomorrow so I'm sure there will be some difficult times coming up um question eight what was the best part of your day today as I said in one of the first the first question it was just seeing the kids happy like the weekends when we're all together it's just lovely especially when the weather's like this we've been out in the garden today and it just makes you have that that this is gonna sound cheesy that really nice moment in your heart that you can see your kids they're happy they're content so yeah that's that was the best part of today uh, question nine what is your secret guilty pleasure to reward you after a hard mum day keeping up with the kardashians is my guilty pleasure still is always has been um i know that there's like always an episode i kind of record it off for music so there's always like the old episodes to watch as well but yeah always has been if you haven't seen it this is us that program is just amazing 
check it out if you haven't. Um, and question 10, what is something that you would like to share with other mums, something that's not really talked about? To be honest with you, I think Channel Mum has covered like a lot of aspects to do with this kind of question, but I would definitely like to pick up on the fact that whatever you're feeling at a certain time, if you're having a really, really crappy time, another mum is going through the exact same time as you. Every other mum has felt like you have. It's really easy to feel like when you're going through a really hard mum day that you're the only person that's going through it. You feel completely cut off. Everybody has experienced it. Um, so like channel mum has been pushing, you, you're not alone. Um, I think that's really important to remember because being a mum can be really, really lonely. Um, so yeah, everybody goes through the same times. Um, so please, please remember that. Um, so that is all the questions, 10 questions. I will write all the questions down below in case you want to, guys want to do it. The people that I want to tag are Leanne from Umbumgo Family Vlogs. I think she'll give some really good answers. Um, Katie Ellison, Heidi Emma and Gemma from Somewhere After the Rainbow. I'd love to see what you guys have to say. Um, so thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you liked it. Please give it a big thumbs up if you did. And subscribe to my channel if you're new. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.